A multi-million dollar construction project to expand Hamilton Elementary is now officially underway. For years, the school has been lacking open space, so students were learning in very tight-knit tight groups. News 8 Now's Tyler Job tells us why school leaders are saying these new additions to the school will make a big difference for students. La Crosse School District leaders won't be afraid to tell you that the need to expand Hamilton Elementary was overdue. It has been a long time coming. So probably about four or five years ago, uh, we did a community needs assessment. And so as that space um, need increased, they looked at ways to expand the school. Monday's first shovel oh. is making sure that happens. There's going to be a new library, a, a regulation sized gymnasium. We're going to be able to add four new full size classrooms, all with their own entrance, all with windows. Principal Ben Byrne says right now, some classrooms don't have windows. We were starting to use rooms that are not rooms as classrooms. A portion of the library was cut out to make space for a classroom and computer lab, but even then, they're too small. The space issue was just one of many issues that could be keeping a student from focusing on learning. Hamilton will also have a resource center as part of its $4.8 million project. We're looking at breaking down barriers to access for supports is one thing. Byrne says the resource center will have an exam room, support for mental health, space for parent nights, and also space for general community use. I would say the two biggest things are trying to address those systemic change, the systemic level needs, and at the same time, kind of fulfilling the purpose of what a school should be is, is the hub of the community. A chunk of the playground will be replaced. The disadvantage is there's a little bit less space to play. But the benefits this project brings is what Burns calls a fair trade. And it's time to really leverage those resources that we have to produce equitable student outcomes. This is Tyler Job, News 8 Now, Lacrosse. Burns is hoping construction is complete before September of next year.